Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. Following the natural progression of the uh, upgrades for my Triumph Street Triple, as you have guessed it from the title of this video, today I'm going to be installing a Yoshimura uh, exhaust. So after doing some research on which exhaust I wanted to go with, uh, I did come uh, to find quite a few really nice options, but I did settle on Yoshimura for a couple different reasons. Reason one is I felt like it was flowing with the bike uh, really nicely. Uh, the can wasn't too big, but it wasn't uh, too small either. It was sitting fairly low to the ground and tighter to the bike. And two, uh, the sound. I uh, really liked the way it sounded, at least based on the videos that I've seen from other people who have installed uh, Yoshimura on, on Street Triple, specifically 765. So without wasting too much time, let's take a look what's in the box and get it installed on the bike. Alright okay, guys, so here's the box. It's good. I already opened it. All right guys, so here we go. Here's the exhaust up close. All right, uh, very quick note. That's the plug uh, that you have to take out if you want to install the baffle, which is this thing right here. The bolt already comes on it. Uh, I am going to be using the baffle, uh, at least in the beginning, just to see what it sounds like before I go ahead and take it off, if, if I do decide to take it off. And again, obviously that's, like I said, uh, this is the baffle that it comes with, the connecting pipe, uh, instructions, spring that, that's keeping the exhaust and the pipe together, the spring cooler, and a clamp. All right, let's go ahead and uh, get uh, the stock exhaust removed and put this one on the bike. To remove the stock exhaust, it's pretty simple. Basically, you have two bolts here that's holding in place one and two. And then if we go to the other side, we have to remove uh, this heat shield right here uh, to get to the clamp. And then it's just a clamp that needs to be uh, removed and uh, the exhaust comes out. Alright guys, the stock exhaust is off, uh, it's basically just once everything is off, once the clamp is out and the two bolts, it's only been held by uh, this rubber grommet, All right? so just give it a good tug, it'll come right off. One quick note and uh, a useful tip, remove this clamp entirely, don't just loosen it uh, because it's, it's the type of clamp that basically just holds this lip and the lip on the exhaust together, so uh, yeah, just get it removed and uh, it'll come right off. So before installing the can, I'm gonna go ahead and install the baffle. Uh, this is the rubber grommet that I showed you earlier, just get it removed. And uh, be super careful. Try not to lose uh, this bolt when you put the uh, baffle in. Alright guys, the exhaust is on. Uh, as you saw, the install is pretty straightforward. Uh, before you start 
the bike. Make sure you rub down the pipe and uh, the can with some alcohol to get rid of uh, any dirt and oils that may be on it. So because once it heats on, heats up and uh, it will leave marks. So let's go ahead and uh, start the bike and see what it sounds like. All right guys, so uh, the bike uh, went through its 12 minute tune up. Now let's go ahead and uh, start it up again and I'll give it a few refs so you hear what it sounds like. Well, I don't know about you, but to me, it definitely sounded awesome. A lot deeper, uh, was a really nice tone. It definitely brings out that triple sound uh, that the stock exhaust was muting it a little bit. So that will do it for today. As always, uh, if this video was useful to some of you, please don't forget to give a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and I will see you guys soon. Take care.